So today I'm talking about a P0151 code, what it is and how you could go about fixing it. And so what is a P0151 code? Well, it's an O2 sensor circuit low voltage, bank two sensor one. And so what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called O2 sensors that are located down on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion and the computer uses that information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And then the second thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. But when you get this P0151 code, the computer's seen a problem with one of these sensors, mainly the bank two sensor one O2 sensor. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And when you have a V6 or V8 engine, there's going to be two banks. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you Google your engine or like cylinder location or firing order, something along those lines, and you locate the side of the engine the number one cylinder is on, since there is differences between engines, then that side of the engine is going to be bank one. And the opposite of that is going to be bank two. And basically what's going on with these O2 sensors is that there's going to be two sensors on each bank of the engine. Sometimes there could be three sensors, but usually there's two. Sensor 1 is going to be located before the catalytic converter, and it's also called the upstream O2 sensor. Sensor 2 is going to be located after the catalytic converter, sometimes right on it, and it's also called the downstream O2 sensor. And when you get this P0151 code, the computer's seen a problem with this bank 2 sensor 1 O2 sensor. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0151 code? Well, the first thing that could cause is that that bank 2 sensor 1 O2 sensor, that it's just gone bad and just needs to be replaced. You can test these sensors if you want to. If there's some different ways to go about testing these sensors. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, you can use it to test these sensors. And basically, to use an OBD2 scan tool, you go into live data or data stream, however the scan tool is set up, and you select the O2 sensors. So for example, here's bank one, sensor one. Here's sensor two. Well, here's bank two, sensor one. And then here's bank two, sensor two. And when an O2 sensor is doing what it's supposed to be doing, well, it's going to go inside of an up and down pattern like this. It's going to go from positive to negative inside of an up and down pattern like this because it's reading how much oxygen there is inside the exhaust. When it comes out the catalytic converter, there shouldn't be no oxygen coming out it. So a working sensor two is going to be flat like this. But if the sensor one is flat or if it's really high or really low in the voltage, then that means that there's some kind of issue going on there. There's some good YouTube videos on this. I've made YouTube videos on this. I'll put a link down below in the description box if you need to check that out. But basically, the first thing that could cause this is a bad bank 2 sensor 1 O2 sensor. And the next thing that could cause this is that there's some kind of wiring problem going to that sensor. Basically, keep in mind that if there's any kind of open, short, there's a bad connection, something like this, a blown fuse, then that's going to cause problems. So you can't go and get wiring schematics for your particular vehicle go through and check all the wiring. There can be two wire sensors. There could be three wire sensors. These four wire sensors are fairly common. And basically what's going on with these is that two wires are going to be going to a heater element that's built into that sensor. And basically the O2 sensor part of these sensors, they can't get accurate readings until they get hot. And so that the computer doesn't have to wait for the engine to warm up and the exhaust to warm up and everything like this. They have these heater elements built in that help it quickly warm up. And so there's going to be two wires going to that heater element. Usually 12 volts is going to these. Again, be sure to get schematics for your particular vehicle. But usually there's 12 volts going to that heater element. And that's going to be on a fuse and a relay. And then the oxygen sensor part of that O2 sensor is going to have two wires going to it going back to the computer. So you can't check these wires. Be sure you got a good signal wire going back to the computer. And also that there's a good signal ground wire going back to the computer. Because the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring problem. And the next thing that could cause this is that there's an exhaust leak or there's some type of engine problem going on. There's some kind of problem going on with the engine that's causing it to run lean. And basically, if there's an exhaust leak, it can throw those sensors off. It could be reading that there's more oxygen inside the exhaust than there should be. So those sensors could be doing what they're supposed to be doing, but they're getting a bad reading because outside air is getting into the exhaust and it's throwing the readings off. Also, keep in mind that the engine's running lean which means that there's more air than gas going into the cylinders than should be, then that could possibly trigger this code. But usually if the engine is running lean, you're going to get other codes. So for example, if you also got like a P0174, Bank 2, System 2 lean, then in that case, there might be some kind of problem going on with Bank 2's side of the engine because that is running lean. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that because the last thing that could cause this is that there's an exhaust leak or there's some kind of engine problem. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0151 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.